I don't want to hurt your feelings again, unnecessarily, Celia, but there are a whole load of more important reasons than you and your mother why a man should turn to a drink. I can tell you. OK. You want a few? You want just a few of them. Here we go. Number one. I think the whole of life has become one long, losing battle. OK? That's the first reason I'm drinking. Number two. I find myself hemmed in by an increasing number of quite appalling people, all flying under the flags of various breeds of socialism, all of whom, so far as I can gather, are hell-bent on courses of self-reward and self-remuneration that make the biggest capitalist look like Trotsky's Aunt Mildred. Number three. On the other hand, we have the rest of the country who don't even have the decency to pretend that they're doing it for the benefit of their fellow men. Ha ha. They're just grabbing hand over fist the most they can get for the minimum of effort by whatever grubby underhand means they can muster. Number four. We have half the men going around looking like women and half the women looking like men and the rest of us in the middle no longer knowing what the bloody hell we are. Number five. And the few remaining women who don't look like men are busy ripping their clothes off and prancing around on video cassettes and soft porn discs trying to persuade us that sex can be fun. Fun, for God's sake. So can World War Three. Number six. Are you still with me? We now have a police force that, according to my paper anyway, is more dishonest than the people we're paying them to arrest. Don't, for God's sake, ask them the time. Just hang on to your watch. Number seven. They started this filthy, floodlit cricket. With cricketers wearing tin hats and advertisements for contraceptives on their boots. Number eight. You can no longer walk through the centre of any town, anywhere in this country, without being set upon by thousands of bald, tattooed Neanderthals. Number nine. You can't get a hotel room in London for love nor money, because they're all booked up by hordes of bloody foreigners in black berets, busy wiring up suitcases full of bloody explosives to blow the rest of us up. And number ten. Whiskey, very, very shortly, is going to be ten quid a bottle. Have I made my point, Celia? Mm -hmm.